Hello. Hello there. Wait a minute. It has been a minute. Uh, welcome back, everybody. It is me, uh, Comrade Cryptid, as my handle still states. Uh, and we're back. We're back. We're it's it's probably been at least a month uh, since I even tried to record anything. Um, in that month, you know, things have happened. Uh, most importantly. I went on vacation. I went abroad, and uh, you know, I went, I went, crossed, crossed a couple of countries off my list. You know. Uh, anyways, uh, because of that, I felt that it might be appropriate, might possibly be appropriate to play some Victoria Three. It was either this or Hoi Four, uh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, I wanted to play. A game of Hoi 4 and I want or not Hoi 4 Victoria 3 it was either this or Hoi 4 um, but uh, either way uh, we're going to uh, play France because uh, that was a, a country that I got to cross off my list I, I spent a couple of days in Paris and it was lovely uh, it was beautiful we love to drink a liter of Cronenberg and then go for a walk on the set. It's lovely. I, I, I really appreciated it. Um, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to place France. Uh, France is one of the recommended countries in the egalitarian society, along with Russia, Beijing, Mexico. Uh, as you might, you know, if you're a, a history buff, as I assume you are, if you're into. Uh, any of the Paradox games, but especially, you know, like Dick 3, Hoi 4, or any of them. Um, clearly, Russia and Great Qing eventually become the two uh, communist uh, superpowers. You know, the Soviet Union and the, well, the People's Republic, as it were. Uh, Mexico, of course, in our timeline, never goes out of this, but you can always do that. And same can be said for France. However, you know, France did have, clearly, uh, some flirtations with a more egalitarian society, you know, I mean, really, that's what the, the, the French Revolution of the, of the late 18th century was about, it got co-opted by the not actually that short man, um, and then of course there's the Paris Commune, which, you know, we may or may not be able to recreate here, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, we are gonna do France. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be honest that, like, you know, where we begin here in France, I'm less uh, familiar with the specific history um, because I'm a scrub, I'm a fake, I'm a fraud. But you know, either way, anyways. Uh, so here we are gonna go. Uh, Alright, so, um, so I know, alright, so, because we're playing something other than just learn the game, which I should still probably be doing, but it's, it's fine. Uh, Alright, welcome to the Egalitarian Society Player Objective. In this objective, you will be given a series of journal entries to complete that will guide you down the path toward an Egalitarian Society. Uh, that sounds good. Alright, so, let's see. Journal entries. Journal, journal, journal. We have uh, Divided Monarchists. France has an active monarchy. Uh, one of the three vying dynasties has cemented rule over France. Will fail if uh, any French interest group uh, is not marginalized. Stands on the presidential republic is greater than neutral. Okay. Turmoil in Ile de France is greater than equal to 25 percent. At least one of these, France has an active springtime of the people journal entries. Radicals, uh, or any 
Civil War. Alright. So. Just completed the leading dynastic ideology. They have an event to put their own candidate on the throne. If, if failed, it is the event for the world. So, I think, uh, especially, like, I think we want... We want this to pay. I, I am pretty sure. Um, well, specifically, if we're going for egalitarian society, we clearly want this to fail. Uh, oh, Corsica is unincorporated. That's good. Um, I'm going to assume... Because, let's see, we have... Clearly, we have France. We have French Guiana, which is unincorporated. We have Senegal, which is unincorporated. Sense. Uh, well, probably make more sense. Definitely different. This is going to be a different game than uh, when I was trying to be Paraguay or Argentina and uh, La Plata. Um, this we're just going to do France into. Um, are we just question mark France? Um, probably, if, or at least like a very egalitarian republic as much as we can be, you know. Clearly the goal, I think, overall for this one is, um, politically, we're going to want to, uh, like, get our laws, uh, we definitely want to get away from monarchy, um, council republic would be good, parliamentary republic, I think, would either, I mean, any of the ones that are a republic are good, uh, or better, presidential republic is uh, probably a little authoritarian or egalitarian. Uh, parliamentary council probably the, the ideal that we're striving for. Um, and we're probably going to go at least for right of assembly, if not protected speech. Um, Trade policy is less of a, an egalitarian issue. Um, uh, clearly, I think cooperative ownership is the goal. Uh, the economy might be necessary at some point, or you can stay with interventionism forever. Uh, <laughs> maybe not forever. Uh, we definitely want public health insurance. That's what I want for everybody. Uh, slavery banned is good. No slavery. We like that. Um, we want workers' rights. We want an abolishment of uh, labor. We want women's equality. Uh, I think poor laws. We want um, we want like at least wage subsidies, if not old age pension. Um, <sighs> Yeah, I mean, you know, clearly, like, it's, it's an egalitarian lesson. I'm, I'm just, you know, running my mouth now. How long have we been? We, we're almost 10 minutes into this video, and I haven't done a goddamn thing. I'm very sorry. I am very, very sorry. I'm gonna actually turn on a stopwatch so that I know how long I've been yapping on. Anyways, uh, alright. So, I think, first of all, we want to, uh, the resistance party, which is the conservative party, uh, includes everybody except the industrialists, the, um, industrialists will join with the republicans,
much as that's kind of, I mean, you know, eventually when we're going for egalitarianism and, you know, we're, we're supporting primarily the unions, um, primarily the unions we want the unions to be strong and the unions are pro-egalitarianism and maybe the Americans as well. But, um, for now, industrialists will be good because they will make us lots and lots of money. And that's what we like. Uh, should probably look at uh, improving our uh, technologies. Um, since I've played. I feel like they've added a lot of stuff. Um, do we want to make more liquor? Do we want to make canned food? Do we want to... I feel like Bessemer Process is probably a good, good place to start. Do we want more steel? Uh, we have pretty good military tech. I don't want to We also might want to go which could happen still, but uh, I think yeah. army defensiveness is good. Anyways, um, so that's a good place. Uh, I'm just going to let it start ticking. Again, we are... We are okay, we liberated the slaves. Thank goodness. Alright, we are 14 minutes in, 15 minutes in, <sighs> and we finally hit play. Okay, Britain has colonized Kenya. That's, um, good to know. Uh, Russia is improving relations. Okay, we are, we are doing the colonizations down in Senegal, we are doing the colonizations in Cote d'Ivoire. Austria is improving relations with us. There is a lot of things going on. Alright, okay, we've got liberal thought. We have. Hmm. That does not have state religion. We have an active public schools, which we have. The legitimist line supports the descendants of Charles X, while the Bonapartist line seeks to restore Napoleon's French Empire. Uh, uh, Gen. All right, three lines have risen, risen to, risen, risen to claim the throne. Once the archenemy of Rome, then the jewel of Christendom now. Heirs to an uncertain future, the days of the revolution are fresh in French minds. Another 
now so soon could spell disaster. Blood may run in the streets before this matter is truly settled. Uh, so, stand by the house of Orleans is the one that would just be staying the course, I think. Yeah, that would be automatically picked in 75 days. I... <laughs> We're going for egalitarianism, so clearly it's down with the monarchy, but, uh, I mean, I, I think if I, if I had to choose a monarchy, I'd probably go with the Bonapartists, but the Bonapartists are still Bonapartists, you know? I don't know. Anyways, egalitarian mode. What am I doing? Uh, down with oh, Remembering the anecdote about, uh, oh, I think he was like Napoleon's brother. Sweden, um, you know, was active in, like, the French Revolution, had a tattoo that said, Death to Kings, and he was the king of Sweden. Fun stuff. I mean, you know, you can tell me that I'm wrong about that anecdote, but I definitely read that somewhere. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was Sweden. I don't think it was Denmark. Pretty sure it was Sweden. Anyways, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, I guess. Uh, anyways. Uh, where were we? Hitting play. That's where we were. <sighs> so. Um, I think, perhaps, the defaults should. Hmm. Arts Academy that is struggling to exist. What if we subsidize? Subsidize the Arts Academy. That's my um, transition. We card here. Um, we have a vineyard that hasn't been built at all. That's a. There we go. What, what does our market do? not listing wine? That seems wrong. No wine in the French market. Mm. Oh, no, that's wine. I thought that was liquor. have a surplus of wine, so that's good. Okay, yeah, no, there's the liquor. We have a, we have a deficit of liquor, but a surplus of wine. That's good. I feel like... Vineyard. I feel like the vineyards... Like, this is just me. But I feel like the vineyards uh, should have, like, a, a secondary production... Similar to, um, similar to like the the wheat farms here, or uh, in up in Scandinavia, it used to be at least. I don't know if it still is, but like the 
the rye farms have yeah they have the second secondary production where of potatoes the potatoes can be turned into liquor fun fact about uh really any carbohydrate is it can be turned into alcohol and that alcohol can be distilled into liquor fun fact if you didn't know but uh like especially I think it's somewhere, it's like one of these regions here, I'm not, I used to be better at geography. I want to say it's maybe in like the, the Pompu Sanfong, okay? Um, I don't think it's in Brittany, but I, I think it's, it's on the west coast of France, is where they have Cognac and also Armagnac, um, are like two regions that are right next to each other and they're both known for the brandy they produce, and the brandies they produce are slightly different. Cognac tends to be made in a pot still. I think our menu is usually uh, a uh, uh, column still. But like, you know, they're made, uh, they're brandy, they're made from wine. They're, you know, like the fresh wine, the farmers have like too much that they don't want to bottle, so they bring it and they, you know, distill it. And, that's a thing. That's where you get Hennessy. Um. Anyways, that was a that was a tangent. Should continue to let the uh, you know, the clock tick over. I'll put it at four. Feel like it's ticking a little tickly. Um. of Algeria, another thing that we uh, have been ignoring. So, clearly, um, we have um, Iran, like, uh, we have, we have uh, enclaves in Constantine, Algiers, and uh, uh, Algiers, we own the port of Algiers. Having a problem. Um, any question? Oh, <sighs> Christmas, uh, Christmas farming. Upper strata crops become more radical. We get more migration. Mm. I think we're gonna side with them. They are the government. Or they are government. Of course they're in the mirror. 
Um. Probably we make them a protectorate and then we eventually annex them. That's my... That's my... Uh, we already have a treaty point. Yeah. Well, I guess technically... But. I think we make I say we, yeah, no, I say we, yeah, we start, we start that. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make them a Because, I mean, you know, we have to, we have to conquer Algeria. I mean, we don't have to, but you know, technically it's not very down to our hands. But, it's also, Everybody's on the fence, nobody's leaning one way or the other. Okay. Nobody really likes either of us. 
start improving relations with Britain so that they don't, you know, side against us. Um, clearly they still don't like us because they never will like us. Um, engines are... Can we survey me? What can we what if we use the Take Spain a minute to even think about attacking this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
to advance. And they're all set to advance. So I'm yeah, I'm not worried about playing defensively in the Algier War. can be. like mascara is pretty much taken care of. Um and then it'll pretty much just be a question. Yeah. 
Parties have formed. Um, okay, so there's a Republican Party and the Republican Union. And those are two different parties. Uh, <laughs> um, right. I think. factories and um, well, clearly we're building or we were we're building iron factories in, in, or iron mines I should say they're not factories they're mines because your raw raw earth forms of iron are just mined um I think I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna call this uh a good episode one of uh Vive la France. That's what I'm calling this series is Victoria through Vive la France. Um So yeah. Uh I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh sure there was a lot of rambling I'm very sorry uh, I just I'm a bit of a rambly rambly person so anyways uh, that's gonna be it for this episode I'm probably gonna record the next episode immediately after this so I hope everybody enjoyed bye